All right, everybody, we are over here at uh, 460, Ooh, 460, no, 446, nope, 466 to 468, Elizabeth, great location, you're right off of Noe, uh, beautiful house, and that, uh, there was a condo that was on the market that switched on a beautiful uh, feature and dwell. This building we saw a couple of years ago, it's been completely renovated and redone again, it's two units, beautiful dark facade, and they have a attached garage back there. And of course, we're also right off of 24th Street. So, we're gonna go inside. Hey, how are you? And take a look. Uh, it's a two unit building, clearly it's Victorian. And uh, there's an upper unit and lower unit, both are vacant. And uh, we'll take a look and walk it through it. First thing you'll notice is that there are a lot of steps. Um, there is a pest report for the steps and clearances and whatnot, but um, we can take a look at those disclosure documents if you want. But you can do that pretty easily. If you wanted to do a garage, it's actually pretty straightforward because it's just dirt. You're not really taking anything out of the structure of the house. Up here you have these cedar shake uh, siding elements. If you look back behind, and if you look over here, you can see the original uh, efforts are properly intact underneath the little roof thing here as well. So uh, over here you've got some of the original millwork and detailing that's really nice and you got more of that uh, shaker below the shades. Uh, in here we really like the original floors. It's either the uh, Douglas fir or the yellow pine. You've got the pressed wallpaper. Um, you've got at least 10 foot 3 or 10 foot 4 ceilings. Let me measure it again. Got my little measuring tape, nice medallion there, nice bay window. Let's see, 10 foot two is what we're seeing here. You've got some nice skylights and you've got sort of a nice open design. You have the classic parlor, of course, a double parlor that is, and you've got really beautiful hardware there and hinges. Here you've got that classic, here's a small room over here. There are so many different ways of reconfiguring it. A lot of times you might see this go through to a bathroom or you might go through uh, to a set of stairs or whatnot. Um, here you have two bedrooms and whatnot. So a lot of different configurations. It's a common type of design in San Francisco that people have already had a good time doing the variations. You have a bathroom here, and I think I would probably do something we do en suite there. And you have something here. Kitchen, you yeah, know, functional, nice. It's not like the best, not the worst, but the key here is that you have a window on this side and you have a window on that side, which totally changes the dynamic. They've got two inspection reports here, which will be part of the disclosure documents. Uh, they talk about the front stairs and they talk about the back as well. I think the report is about 47 and change, but um, that can be all done in context of work. Here it looks like the old sort of mud frame, or mud frame, mud porch was framed in. It's about 12 feet here as well. And over there you've got the agents and you've also got the little cottage in the background. Um, we'll go over there in a second. So yeah, just really nice and quiet. Location is great. We'll go down here. It's nice, easy, and breezy peasy today. We're going to go down this way. Hello, hello. So we've got the deck back here. Nice and detached on the side. You've got this structure in the back, which is really cute. It's about 12 foot by 8 foot, or 8 and a half feet, which is nice. You also notice that behind the people did a retaining wall coming in from the hill. Okay, there is a gentle slope coming down from Noe. So you've got this nice little area here, which is really cool. It's just nice to have a separate structure. Just trying to get that these days would be tough. There's roof access up there. Uh, of course, we're not going to go on there today. Uh, apparently, uh, the roof is nearing the end of its life, something in, in the 20 plus year range and um, it'll probably be time to replace it within the next few years. Now down here, some of the questions are, what's the foundation like? What's it all about? We'll see the old bricks here, and then going in here, this little service room, access room, you'll see that they have done the concrete. They've done some bolstering, well, they didn't bolster, but they did some concrete here, water heaters there, and then you've got concrete poured here, and probably a footing back here. So they have done some reinforcing, you can tell because probably the paver bricks from the foundation are here as a decorative element now. Um, let me close that up. Nice thing here, we're going to go in through, I guess the side door. We're trying to come in through the front door, but it's all right. You've got this breezeway, so a trade's entrance. So you know what? Let's go this way. So you see a nicer part. Um, well maybe, let's see, it's open. Yep, here we go. So let's go in the front way. So down here you have the two gas meters. Uh, in a uh, 
a nice little cabinet as well the two meters as well um, you've got the two panels uh, these look to be relatively all right um, at least they're not the uh, federal pacific brand which is good uh, so let's go in lower unit here one of the nice things we like is that at no point uh, the legal minimum ceiling height is seven foot six and very back there in the kitchen it's seven foot eleven otherwise you have eight foot ceilings down here which is nice got a little pane window there already closet as well uh, this is easy to lighten up a lot of recess lighting or whatnot here the kitchen could be done maybe you put it here maybe put it over there but the older style heater as well that could be changed out relatively easy they still make machines like that now kitchen is well you know what it is you've got laundry so that's really nice i probably think this is the old chimney from upstairs so you probably get rid of that probably there was a chimney at the back of the dining room or double foyer, foyer and they had probably a coal burning stove and then out here uh, apparently that there were floor drapes repaired and repair or replaced and then here you've got bathroom same thing highlight the beat change out um, but it's all here the services that is and then over here you've got kind of a <laughs> sorry <I'm> really <laughs> skinny <laughs> yeah it's actually a bedroom <laughs> they claim right it's actually so a yeah and here even here the ceiling height is what was the ceiling height here it is eight foot three for me, I think I just opened this up and opened that up as well. Maybe taking the space over here, make this a kitchen and dining area or family area uh, as well. Darker, but you don't mind because it's, you know, you watch TV or whatnot too. Coming out here, going, going, hey, so, hey, Jason. And then we're back up here. So that's the end of the tour. We'll go this way, this way, this way again, and then we're out this way. So yeah. Uh, both units offers are on the 26th and um, yeah it's a really I think it's a good building lots of opportunity some challenges of course but nothing that is the really unique or bizarre or out of the line because it is one of the nicer examples of Victorians here in San Francisco in a great neighborhood as well all right that's enough for me it's Kevin Kevin Ho signing off more tours Kevin and Jonathan.com thanks